Ooh, smells like fart. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> When Josh Marsman and I get into the kitchen, anything can happen. So today, we wanted to challenge ourselves to do something we've never done before. Using both our backgrounds in fine dining, what would it look like if we made a super fancy, modernist burger using the principles of molecular gastronomy? You know, using tweezers, foams and gels, pinkies up vibes, and better yet, cook it in a giant mansion just to set the mood right. So we went for it. And let me tell you, it was hard work. Hours upon hours of preparation. Was it worth it in the end? We'll leave it up to our buddy, YouTuber Cody Ko, to let us know if we failed or hit the mark. God help us. Cody. Cody. Welcome to my lair. Thank you for having me, man. I'm stoked. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like a Sons of Anarchy table, you know, and like <laughs> I'm like the guy who like owes you money. <laughs> Where's the gavel at? Where's the skull at? Come on, Ooh, hey. bro. What kind of a set is this? <laughs> We're gonna give you an acid trip of a, of a meal. We like deconstructed, reanimated, killed, brought back to life, Frankenstein, and then reanimated again to create a burger. Cool. Actually, you know what I'd love to hear? I'd love to hear, uh, what do you think we made? Well, I, someone along the way said something about gastronomy. I think even the first time you called me, you were like, it's a gastronomy thing. So I'm picturing like little dollops of beef, like, and you know, I'm picturing like a art. Oh yeah. There's want, dollops like, of piece. stuff. There's dollops, there's <laughs> dots. I've never had like experimental scientific food. This is just gonna be more of like a burger that hopefully you've never had anything remotely close to this before. I'm pretty proud of what we're gonna make. I think we did good. Yeah. I'm I ready think, to show them. Yeah. Ready? I cannot wait. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. I can't wait. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh we preach meat cheese bun. This is the opposite. This is that. the complete fucking opposite. Yeah. We're doing a modernist burger. It tastes like a burger, but doesn't look like a burger. We're not really stepping too far away from a burger. We're holding the soul of a burger and then just putting it in a different body. So to translate that, <laughs> that means that we have to spend days to create a hamburger, which usually takes seven minutes to make. It's a ham bouger. It's a ham bouger. We're taking something that costs usually four to eight bucks and literally my salary, his salary for three days. This is a fucking $15,000 burger. <laughs> <laughs> this is easily the most expensive burger ever produced. Just to show you how hardcore this burger is, let's go behind the scenes and look at the footage of what we did two days in advance just for you. Wow, it's really fucking hard. Yo, this beef is fucking primo. Tastes like a pickle though. Flour, oil, water, or is it oil, water, flour? Fuck it, we'll do it live. Ow! Oh, hey. Ah! Oh, please. Oh, oh. Everybody just stay calm, please. So the easiest part of our day is the hardest part of our day. I don't know my name in. Oh, hey. It worked! This is why you wear non-slip shoes when you go into a restaurant, okay? Don't be a fucking idiot like me. Show us how it's done, bro. Okay, so we're first gonna make a cheese foam. We've got toasted brioche to represent the bread. It's essence of the bread. It's the life. Represent. Got cheese. We're gonna combine the two. We're breaking them up. And then consolidating. And then consolidating them. And then reconfiguring. You know, there's a lot of foams that people use in fine dining. There's yeah. a reason why. If it's aerated, technically it hits all your you know, taste buds and everything. So technically you could taste the full flavor better when it's aerated. Also, textures are very important in this style of cuisine. That's right. First, I'm gonna blend the brioche. We got Gruyere, we got a little bit of Gouda, technically pronounced Howda. I was yelled at for that. Howda. Howda. Cream goes in, directly on, boiling hot. Let me <laughs> taste test this real quick. What's it's it taste delicious. like? Oh shit. Yeah. Aerate the fuck out of that yeah. thing. This is a whipped cream canister, like the old, old, old school kind. And you use nitrous to aerate it. Oh, that's when you know it's on. Aerate it up. There you go. Oh, there you go. 
and it's foam. So next, I have pressed meat inside this. It has like textures of short rib, but the fattiness of brisket. You basically confit all this, so it was nice and tender and fatty. Mm -hmm. The beef emulsified it, pressed it in this mold, and then poured a little more beef fat to sort of soak any crevices to solidify it into one solid piece, basically. So we reanimated this. Yeah, this took three days to make. I think it looks kind of gross right now, but it's gonna be really good. So basically, we're just gonna cut these into portions. It's like a Snickers bar. Oh, did you hear that? The sound that it made when it came off the board. Oh, it was squishy. <laughs> this is the onion element plus garnish. garnish. I should probably be wearing a hairnet right now. But I want them to curl, so I'm just gonna drop them in a little bit of ice water. Yeah, yeah. molecularly, they're gonna curl. There's like, you, how many times, can we get a molecular counter? What's the number of molecular times he's been molecular? Molecular, we're changing the molecular structure by I don't ice think we, shocking I actually it. don't think we are changing the molecular structure at all by icing it. <laughs> Pan's hot, this is hot. Okay, so this is going down, a little press. You have to hear the sizzle. It could be a little hotter. I'm cranking this up to Crank zone. Crank that soldier boy. Yes, chef. I'm 38. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a quick flip. Oh yeah. So right. even if you're making a, a really fancy burger like this, Erotic you still burger. need to have the fundamentals, which is a perfect sear. That's right. I don't know why my hand's doing this. We're fine dining We're right fine now. dining. We have to be pretentious. You don't know what you're talking about. So don't look at me when I'm making my short rib stick. That looks so good. It really actually does look really It's a beef really candy good. bar for real. And then onto the serviette to drain. We're actually ready to assemble, believe it or not. Let's like assemble! Thank you. The most important part of this style of cooking is how it looks. Plate time. So offset on the plate. Offset. A little bit to the left. Um, we have our mustard caviar. We basically just took mustard seed and pickled it so it looks like mustard caviar. But I mean, mustard's a huge part of burger making, like mustard seared burgers, animal style. This is basically a really fancy animal style burger. Boom, boom, boom. That's molecular. Now this, this is our pickle food gel. I got it ready for you by taking an entire jar of dill pickle chips and pureeing it, and then running it through four different filters so that it was just the pure essence of dill pickle. So I'm just gonna do little dots carefully. Give it a little gas, and then this is gonna go straight on. Cross. It has there. to look like it's growing from there. Yeah, we have these lovely twills. A twill is basically a, a wafer little crisp. It's like a savory little wafer. So this is gonna replicate the sesame seeds on a sesame bun. Oh shit, that really does look like a $40,000 burger. This could be like one of those shots in TikTok where they're like. <laughs> Next, with any good burger, we have to do french fries and make a Parisian gnocchi. It's basically potato puree, eggs, and some salt, and a little bit of flour to hold it together. And then we're gonna pipe it out and fry it. Pipe it up. You did that to me earlier, I'm sorry, you deserve it. I do it again. Pipe it up, pipe it up, sheesh. Sorry, okay. That's into the fryer, I have ketchup, leather, and I have dehydrated tomatoes that we're gonna turn into the tomato powder. That will be the side dish, and we're gonna plate it on this beautiful live wood, so it looks wow. like it's like very earthy. Unbelievable. Guys, this isn't just wood. This is wood, that, wood from like this, generations ago. He, this he went to actually, the top of a mountain, killed a bear, because there was a baby. The baby was was, lay, was sleeping yeah. on this, and, and it was on the to, top of the mountain. Yeah. And I got it, and I and I got it. It was crying. It was crying, and I was like, No, 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 no! Don't cry. I'll yeah. save you. You removed the wood instead of picking the baby. So up. I took the baby. I put the baby down. And I took the wood, and I said, Holy shit! This would look awesome with <laughs> fries. <laughs> Let's stop messing around. We're on a tight schedule. Let's make a powder. That's powder. Sorry. I did something right. All my old chefs suck it. This is dehydrated ketchup. It's basically a ketchup fruit roll up. So wait, are you gonna do ribbons or what are you doing with I it? I think I'm gonna make like swirls. Yeah, ribbons, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do ribbons, thank you for that. Thank you, chef, for the inspo. Yes, of course. You're such an influencer. <laughs> Fuck. Give me a square dance of that. Do you like it? 
Actually, yeah, I do. Okay, as long as I impress you, we're fine. I don't care about Cody. Just kidding, I care about Cody. Boop. Boop. Can you define what beignet. that is? This is a potato french fry beignet. Tomato dust. This is key. See, that's the thing. There are certain things that just look egregiously pretentious in fine dining, but it actually has a really useful purpose. I'm just gonna like put ribbons on here. Look, I'm not the fucking craziest, most oh, ho, ho. fanciest guy in the world, right? And you have to use tweezers to plate. And there it is. Fries with ketchup. <sighs> Guys, what is going on here? Dessert! Dessert. So we're gonna make a root beer granita. It's icy, it's refreshing, it's right. the soda element, but we're not doing a soda course. We're gonna do a dessert course. This is root beer that we froze. Solid. But I made my own blend. I bought three different kinds of root beers and I poured it in here. That's fine dining. That's fine That's as dining is. can get. Cream first. I'm not gonna measure it because we're literally just making whipped cream. It's not that complicated now, is it? A granita is kind of like a little bit between a slushy and a snow cone. And you literally just scrape it and you get these nice little root beer flakes. I mean, look at this, dude. Oh, shit. Beautiful. Did you just chef kiss? It's a chef's kiss root beer, dude. <gasps> I didn't know people did that. Yeah, well, against my recommendation, we ha also got terrariums. Yes! Put a little dollop, our blended root beer granita. That's gonna go off to the right side. So it's offset put together. Offset! Thank you, God bless. Some of these, I'm using the tweezers now, Alvin, just like you, you wanted have me to. to. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of make these look like they're growing out of the cream. Voila! Bon apple tea. Burger, fries, root beer float. Made by science. Stunning. Doesn't look like it, but when you eat it all, you're gonna be like, damn, that's the best. Uh, I don't know about best. Damn, that's a burger, fries, and a root beer full. This is a $75 a person burger meal. All right, Cody, be prepared. We're gonna blow your mind. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Smells like fart. Oh yeah. <laughs> that smells amazing. That's the burger. Okay. It looks like a little protein bar. You That's know? definitely a protein bar. It's a pro it is a protein, it is a protein bar. bar. That's correct. <laughs> what you have here is you have a confit short rib cake Ooh. followed by a brioche gruyere foam, mustard caviar, pickled fluid gel, and a sesame coral twill. I didn't recognize about a third of the words that you said. And that's, that's what we're going for. As, as chefs, I think yes. the goal is always, how do we confuse the shit out of the diet? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. It's a mousse-bouche. Right? Yeah, I'm yeah. about to amuse your mouth. Yeah. What is this? What are um, this is my version of French fries. Ooh. Like a potato Parisian gnocchi. And then there's ketchup leather with tomato powder. How do you recommend he eats it? You should try to get every element into each bite. Like and that's, that? that's the bite. Yes, that's, that's the bite. That's a perfect bite. What are we thinking off the bat? Very rich. Short rib is very like tender and fatty and really like good. Yeah, it was confit in tallow. Mm. I'm like very pleased. This awesome. So Let's go. I'm <laughs> pumped to try these because they look like beignets. Yeah, that's, that's my pretty, favorite thing. That's pretty much what it is. It's basically fried dumplings with ketchup leather. Let's go. These are amazing. Like the mouth feel is mm. super crazy. Like you'll be tasting ketchup for like the next three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like three hours. Yeah. You're gonna be sweating ketchup for the next three yeah. days. Yeah, it has that like pucker, <laughs> like the. It feels very gastronomical. Ooh. I feel weird because this is a burger show and I'm like, God, it's not a burger. But honestly, guys, it, it tastes uh, like a burger. If, this yeah, is directly against what a burger it, show Yeah, if you eat it, it fucking tastes like a burger. What do you think a burger like that should cost? This right here? Yeah. I think 35. Ooh, 35, that's a slap in your face. <laughs> <laughs> is that cheap or is that expensive? No, no, no. We're not done. What, really? Oh, we have one more thing. Wow. What? Magnifique. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Merci, <laughs> Merci beaucoup. This is a root beer float. What? You have a root beer granita. It's a tri root yeah, beer blend. three different root beers. Oh, wow, okay. A vanilla bean chantilly. And some micro greens. Mm. Oh, that's great. Right? That feels super fine dining. Sarsaparilla? <laughs> yeah. I could eat 19 of those. Yeah. The, yeah. 
Little lettuce, little greens on there actually was awesome. Cleans it up a little. Yeah, it really does. You know what I was kind of missing is the bun. I knew you were gonna say that. The bun was on that plate. Where? In the cheese foam. How? So we got the brioche, pulverized it, and put it in there. Interesting. That makes sense. But that's sense. always what happens when you do food like this. Yeah. yeah. It's always a loose interpretation or an inspiration of a burger. There's Michelin star and then there's Cody stars. Okay. How expensive is food at a three Michelin star restaurant? Pretty expensive. You go with two people, it's gonna be over a thousand dollars. Okay, yeah. so what's Wine. that divided by thirty-five dollars? <laughs> <laughs> we got a one star. We got one we star. Got one star. <laughs> we got one Cody star. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm t entirely joking though. I would give it three stars. Three Cody stars out of how many? Sixty-four. <laughs> <laughs> Cody. Joshua, this was a great experience. Thank you for being our guinea pig. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It was delicious. Are y'all ready for some real burgers though? Yes. Let's Wait, go. where are they? I know the right people to call. What's up, Burger World? Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. If not for me, for the burgers. I love you.